Leo Chu on one side, Christian Roldan opposite. Albert Rusnak pulls the strings. Jordan Morris spearheads the attack. Two goals in two matches against FC Dallas so far. It's going to be a 4-4-2 formation. Same back four that we saw at home against Seattle. But Liam Frazier and Yada Mindy, it'll be a 4-4-2. Big pop at the crowd. Roman Torres part of the scarves up. We're underway. It's game three. Winner take all. Penalties perhaps could loom. As it is FC Dallas in red. Seattle going left to right. Our referee, Fotis Bazakis. VA needed a quick start right now. Dallas on the ropes. Seattle looking for that jump. Good corner. And getting up was Christian Moldan. A little swivel. It goes by, and there'll be a calming moment here for FC Dallas to get their bearings. Well, you can see the mark and the individual responsibility, and it's kind of this hybrid. Alex Roldan. Morris Atencio into the teeth of the Dallas defense. Liam Frazier, Iana Mendy and Frazier joining in the summertime. They're both in the starting 11 here tonight. Kamungo, Ariola, still not cleared. Dangerous moments for the Sounders. Dallas intent, flicked up by Ariola, back for Kampamako. Nuhu uprooted. I mean, elects for the variation of early service, but can't break through that line to find Jordan Morris. Daniel Chu now with his three first playoff starts. Yemar. It's a good win by Paul Ariola again, who scored his first playoff goal in game two. Clips Atencio. Quickly taken. Maybe picking up the pace is the direction here for Seattle. Jordan Morris in behind the defense. Blocked by Tafara. Maybe by accident. Here comes Xiao Paulo. Best chance of the night, saved by Martin Paz. A great chance, Raul Diaz got off his seat on the bench because he thought there was a great opportunity for Joao Paulo. Keep an eye, he's right next to the referee. He's trailing the run, trailing the run. As this ball cuts back, he's uncontested. And he just skipped it off the turf. He just chunked it. Didn't get the look or the clean touch that he's looking for. Alex, rolled on. Joao Paulo with that shot on target. Takes the initiative. Shoulders off Obrian. Free kick. And the first yellow card of the match will go to FC Dallas. They would like to get a little closer on the set piece, but they're closer here than they were on their prior one. Jao Paulo again into the back door. Christian Roldan gets it airborne. Jordan Morris had that header goal in game one. Looked to do it again. Flecked it, but it's not going to keep it out. You can see the crack showing for FC Dallas, and now they have broken. Albert Rusnak with his second playoff goal. The Sounders strike in minute 36. Since the opening whistle, just floats central, gets in the backside of both Frazier and Yana Mendy. And as he finds his space, he's able to turn. No immediate pressure. And you can see the idea trying to build out of the back. Simple ball right into the feet from Ibiaga to Joao Paulo. Look at Albert. Turns, gets his head up. And that's unfortunate for Martin Paz. He goes for that star jump, tries to stay as big as possible, clips the underside of the carriage right there. Albert Rusnak, his goal gives Seattle the 1 0 lead. 36 minutes in here at Lumen Field. Forces in the history of this organization. There is such an excitement level when Nuhu gets on the ball and puts in these type of performances that we saw on both of these match days here at Lumen Field. Morris, little pirouette, keeps his feet. Christian Roldan had the goal mouth screaming in front of him, and he pushed it. Oh, Roldan, watch. He opens up his hips. He cuts the ball back to Jordan Morris. Watch this pirouette from Jordan Morris. Woo! Little layoff, and he's looking for first time. There is the halftime whistle from Fotis Bazakis. Albert Rusnak with the goal. He has been one of the great contributors, and the Sounders done. He 45 minutes away from getting to that target. Not just the first ball, Max. More importantly, the second ball. Ready to go for the second half. Seattle and Ray Green. Max Bretos, Brian Dunson. The break. Christian Moldan. Morris makes his run to the near post. Wasn't able to come up with it clean. Deflects off Ibiaga. Number two. A oh, quick little combination play, an underlapping run, gets his head up, and watch the movement. He goes away, comes back in, and Ibiaga, it actually hits his plant leg. He's reaching with his right foot. Watch, hits the inside of his left, and that'll deflect out for the corner for Seattle. 
Morris looking up, feeling he should have done better. Something I think he wants to see a little bit here. Teams that win are not nice. Will that team have a bit of an edge as Jordan Morris separates again? Huge save by Martin Paz because that was on its way in. His less preferred left foot and thinking he always wants his right, always wants his right. He goes to his left and he tags this ball and it's a good old bear clock. On the field or on the benches here tonight for Seattle. Nicolo Dero, I think you would have to consider at the top of that list in Seattle's MLS history. This could be trouble. Uh, this is a really dangerous challenge from Tomasi. We're learning about game threes just like you in this new format. The game twos were magnificent by and large. Good lift by Zhao Paulo. It got all the way across to Jackson Reagan. Goal kick. Five minutes to go here at Lumen Field. Iana Mendy trying to get it into Tafari. Seattle defending everything perfectly. Junka, Tafari, Yemar, Lodeiro. Play on. That'd be a good call. It was neither here nor there, but Jordan Morris pokes it away, gets the free kick. It's going to be a yellow card for Paul Ariola. That's his second in these postseason. Now, little disorganization from the Sounders. Yeah, Tensil wanted to try to draw the foul for the challenge for Mibiaga. Riola to Farai. Well, there's the shot. Iadamendi. It'll take a dip in front of Lichette. There is a full time whistle from Fodis Bazakis. The Seattle Sounders find a way. It goes three games, and game three was a grind.